Hello, um, another video today is going to show you how to um, work on certain pieces of work on Google Classroom called material or questions. Um, and I'll show you how to do that now. So here is our Google Drive. And we're going to access Google Classroom the same way we have been doing. And click onto our child's classroom. And today we're going to be looking at this section, the classwork section. Now we've grouped all of our all of your children's classwork into each day. So all you need to do is find the corresponding day and you'll find all the work in there. Now you'll notice there's two different file types in here. There's the grey ones and the green ones. We're only going to look at the grey ones in this video. And these are called material. So material is different to the green ones because if I access uh, a green um, assignment, what you'll notice when I click it is there's a way up here to say to how to submit my work, to mark my work done and be able to turn something in. Now, what you'll notice when we click the material one is that it doesn't have that option. So if I view material, you aren't able to submit this work. Now, the reason behind that is we want the children to be able to self-assess this work. So as you can see here, it says the answers won't be posted until 3 p.m. Now, what your children might want to do is we want to eliminate the amount of printing that parents need to do. We don't want you to be buying printers or having to spend money on ink cartridges. So we'll be using something called Doc Hub. Now, if I click on the PDF, the material that's been assigned for this piece, this lesson, and I do an open with here, you'll see I've got something here called Doc Hub. Now, you might not necessarily have that in your connected app section here. So if you don't, go down to this little plus button here. And it will open the uh, Google Chrome App Store. And here I put in Doc Hub. And it's here. I click that. And this green button here will actually be blue. But all you need to do is press connect. And it will connect to your um, your version of, of Google Classroom. Then it will appear in this list. And I can click Doc Hub. Sign and edit PDF. And what that allows you to do is to draw on top of that PDF. So let's say uh, I can now add text boxes to this i could say that's going to be eight tenths it basically works like a, like a publisher file or a um or a, a powerpoint uh, i can also draw on it if i need to highlight things i can draw uh, i can highlight if i wanted to maybe highlight some specific words i can also add comments if i wanted to uh, maybe highlight this section here, leave a comment and say, I'm uh, a bit confused on this one. I'm a bit confused on this one. So that I, your teacher knows how you got on. So I can go, oh, hang on, there's a little comment there. I can see what that says. Oh, they got a bit stuck on that. Now, once you're happy with it, once you've finished your work and you uh, have marked it all using the answers that are posted, you can click this button here that says download or export. Now, you can either download it to your computer or you could download it to your Google Drive. Now, I'd recommend doing it to your Google Drive because they are linked up together. Those two things are um, Google Classroom and Google Drive are linked up. Don't use this one here that says submit to Google Classroom because we've had a few problems with that. Just use Google Drive. And if you export it to Google Drive, it will say save into Google Drive. And if I click show in Drive, it'll open a new tab. And there is my PDF that has been saved. And there's my comment that I made about that piece of work there that I didn't quite understand. And then all I need to do once I've completed that work is go back to my classroom. Uh, so go back to my class work and you'll see from yesterday, the answers have been posted here for math. So I've been able to self mark my own work. Then what we want the children to do is self assess their work. So you'll find here a thing that says SA quiz. And what we'd like the children to do is open that up and normally uh, that will be green so if I look at the English one for example it's green and what I will do is I'll select how well I think I got on with my lesson if I got all my questions right I might think yep I got them all correct I'm very confident if I'm not too confident I might think um, I only did okay so I self-assess that way if I didn't do very well if I, if I really struggled or could do with some extra support I'll do one tick and then I'll turn that in and that's basically how we're going to submit those material uh, lessons. We really need the children to be as honest as possible when it comes to submitting their self-assessments. That's really going to help us as teachers. And in the next video, I'll show you what to do about these green ones, these assignments.